Hey y'all, N4H&H here with the Viridium HF clock running ham clock version 3.01 software. So what I want to show you here is um, it's at night and it looks like DX should be good. Look at the solar flux index there, 190. The sunspot number over here under at the bottom right of the VOA cap uh, display here is 174. Those are good, but right now all the communications is pretty much within the U.S. I did hear Bill in South Africa a little bit ago on 40 meters. He faded because it got it got daylight. Well, what's happening is this right here, the X-ray. Uh, assessment if you want to call it that m1.4 so anything in the a's b's and c's we can tolerate it's not not going to really bother us but when it gets up into m which is medium uh the effect of the x-rays coming from the sun you got solar flares uh up there and these, these can last from minutes to hours so the disruption in hf communications can be minutes or hours it affects the sunny side of the earth okay so the daylight you know, hours, and it's going to be most effective, and I, and I say effective, it's degrading communications. It's going to do it the most when the sun's over, overhead, but it still, it affects the parts of the earth that are lit up by the sun. And so now we're, we are it just moved in a little bit ago into the M class. You got A, B, C, M, and X. Now X is even worse. M is moderate, and it's on the low end of the moderate scale there, 1.4. And, uh, you know, that can increase up to a 10, and then it'll move over into the X class. But what's happening right now is, the reason I'm not hearing a lot of DX, none of the expeditions that I've been chasing. And it has to do with the fact that they're in this area. This is where they've all been, you know, the you know, stations I've been working on, the DX, uh, the expeditions. It's sunlight over there, and this, oh, it just, it went to, I think it was a one, was it 1 1.2 while ago? It's 1.4 now, anyway. That number that you see up there, M, M for M class, is kind of a medium class uh, X-ray, and those, again, what they're doing is they're, think of it as super ionization there of the D layer, that's the first layer, that's the layer we got to punch through to get, to get DX, and it's got that D layer so ionized that the high frequencies, we just can't, we can't get through it. Lower frequencies are gonna bounce off of it and uh, higher frequencies are gonna get absorbed. And as a matter of fact, I've got right now, I've got the map set for the D wrap and um, that's looking at the D region, um, the effect that that it's having on the D region again the lowest part of the ionosphere as far as radio waves um, we that's where we go first and if we can get through that we get to the E layer gives us a little bit higher refraction therefore we our signal refracts bounces if you will further away and of course usually at night D and E are dissolved and you can get up to the F1 and F2 layers which combine at night so you go even higher before you refract. And you know, we're talking hundreds of miles up here. Uh, that's good, but you gotta get through that D layer and that E layer. Well, right now in this part of the world with M with an X-ray uh, value of M1.4, that's um, again, medium intensity. It's on the low end of medium, but uh, they're going to have some HF communications blackouts. They're gonna be stuck hitting that D layer and certain frequencies will just refract back. Some will just be absorbed from it. And so the, and the higher frequencies, obviously, which is how, how we're getting them on DX, you know, you 10, 12 and 15 meter bands, 17 even, uh, they're gonna struggle with that. So again, more information that's valuable coming from this device. Now, ordinarily that 190 would be great but we want this, the X-ray value to be in the in the A range is, is best, but A, B, and C, we want something in the A, B, or C range. Now, it was, it's been a C for the last day or two, I think. I know it was a C today and yesterday, um, and I had no trouble with DX, but it gets up to this M, and the problem is that I, it's not that I can't get out because it's nighttime, right? 
they can't get out to me. I can't hear them. Well, and for that matter, they, they'd have a hard time hearing me. So it's an interesting uh, thing what goes on with this, this whole solar activity. This device helps us get a really good glimpse of what's going on. Yeah, more information from this device. I uh, hope you find this video helpful and informative. Thank you for watching videos on my channel. Hang around for 32 more seconds. I want to acknowledge five of the Patreon team long haulers, people who supported this channel for a year or two or more who make these videos possible. Thanks again, 73 from N4 H&H. &H.